The Metagenics Institute presents Updates on Specialized Pro-Resolving Mediators with Charles Surhan, Ph.D., DSC. What role do you envision lipid mediators and active resolution will play in future clinical decision-making? So we have focused on mapping the resolution terrain in a number of different animal models and try to understand um, how to control the inflammatory response and in infection, because those are two very clear uh, unmet, or I would say inadequately met medical needs. Identifying the, the natural products and the physiology of what's going on in vivo to turning that into therapeutics is a very big jump. So very early on, I decided to focus on this unmet medical need, which is periodontal disease. And why? Because when there's a barrier break around the tooth, bacteria can get in and you can actually raise the tone of inflammation. You get bacteria in the blood. Tom Van Dyke's group, he's a periodontist and professor at Harvard Dental School, has shown very clearly that this barrier break is mediated by neutrophils responding to, to come into the area of plaque where there's uh, bacteria, Porphyrmonas gingivalis, and they release very potent chemotractants. So we, that, we carried that forward to uh, looking at uh, pro-resolving mediators as well, and he's obtained excellent uh, results with resolving E1, which protects from uh, bone-induced, uh, excuse me, inflammation-induced bone loss, which you can think of as a, also important in osteoporosis and other diseases. The, the, the data at the animal model level was so compelling they were able to persuade NIH to give us uh, money to do a clinical trial, a double-blind randomized clinical trial to look to see if we have a designer pro-resolving mediator in a mouth rinse, can we reduce uh, inflammation and the progression of, uh, to, from inflammation to peri periodontal disease. And that's ongoing now. And hopefully we'll have results from that uh, pretty soon. Reduced the practice uh, example was a phase one, phase two clinical trial for inflammation in the eye to reduce inflammation in the eye. And 232 individuals were treated and they had positive results. And that discovering resolution pathways with my group, because I do believe that they will be of therapeutic benefit. We will learn how to use them effectively. We're learning now how to increase their levels through changes in, in, in diet. And I'm hoping that uh, the picture will get much clearer. Remember now just, uh, you know, the first resolvent appeared in uh, 2000. So it, it really takes a lot of time to clearly illuminate how something works at the molecular level 